So, I'm sure by now you've heard about CBD. But what is CBD exactly? Does it have any real health benefits? Is it even safe? For a huge number of us, it might appear like CBD jumped out the blue. Inside a couple of brief years, this obscure molecule found in cannabis plants has moved from obscurity to a cure-all embraced by millions. From school grounds to retirement homes, everybody's discussing CBD, leaving everyone to guess about when the other shoe will drop, uncovering some negative viewpoint to the health trend. Researchers have been contemplating it since the 1970s, close by a scandalous sister, THC. For the past few decades, legal advisors, specialists, patients and government officials have all been setting the clinical capability of cannabis in opposition to its danger for recreational maltreatment. Yet, at the same time, proof has been mounting that CBD offers comparative, if worse, health advantages without the drawback of the high associated with THC. Even a basic order by the WHO as of late detailed that CBD is a promising therapy for various reasons. It's very much adored, has a decent security profile, and doesn't give off the impression of being a danger for misuse, reliance, or other general well-being related issues. As such, even the WHO thinks CBD is good to go. When glancing through the great many logical articles referring to CBD, it can be pretty difficult to track down any proof of perilous symptoms or contradictions. Be that as it may, broad utilization of concentrated CBD is another marvel, and your well-being is our priority. Since we need clinical proof for CBD, we also need a clinical proof against CBD. From a couple of clinical experiments that have been directed, no conclusive severe side effects have surfaced. The most for outcomes accessible depend on epidiolics, the FDA approved CBD drug for youth epilepsy. During clinical experiments, young people between the ages 2 and 18 were recommended high day by day dosages of CBD for 14 weeks. The everyday portions were equivalent to 1,360 mg for a 150 pound adult, more than is normally found in a whole drug of CBD oil. Two of the regular experience symptoms are fatigue and loss of appetite. For most patients, these side effects occurred during the first few weeks whilst they were quickly raising their dosage. The indication commonly died down after the dosage balanced out, and bringing down the dosage was also a powerful method of diminishing unwanted reactions. So if you experience issues with CBD, you might experiment with waiting it out a week, bringing down your portion or attempting an alternate sort of item completely. If you're trying different things with high doses of CBD, we suggest reading more about what research gained from the Epidolix trials. Clinical experiments give patients excellent, safe items which contain a solid amount of CBD. The epidolic symptoms are the ones you may anticipate from a high portion of an unregulated item. Because the supplement industry in the UK isn't heavily regulated like a medicine would be, in the event that you buy CBD from deceptive or possibly dangerous producers, you may have a different experience. In fact, when scientists as of late tried an assortment of openly accessible CBD items, just 31% were precisely named. What can these products contain? Well, pesticides and heavy metals from bad farming practices, higher levels of THC than desired, synthetic cannabinoids, and any of the contaminants like mold and bacteria. In some cases, CBD items don't contain any CBD whatsoever, in which case you won't experience any impacts, positive or negative. Genuine CBD items are set up from hemp plants, which contain follow amounts of THC, except if it's eliminated during extraction. On the off chance that an item contains significant levels of THC, you may encounter reactions like dry mouth, hunger, or change in mood in spite of the fact that it's difficult to envision all the distinctive symptoms you may experience from contaminated or synthetic products, the worst effects of dishonest CBD products could be a long-term damage to your body that you won't immediately experience as a side effect. Also, in spite of the fact that CBD has been regarded as safe by the WHO and other well-being associates, not enough experiments have been done to identify if there are any populations for whom CBD is unsafe. Rather than accepting that as a free pass, we think it's much more important to scour the scientific literature for any new science. An example of this could be if you have low blood pressure. Some investigations report that CBD lowers the blood pressure, which could be a worry for individuals who are dealing with that already. In general, it appears most effective at reducing blood pressure during stressful events, which is broadly held on as one of its advantages. In the event that you suffer from hypotension, you may want to consider monitoring your blood pressure when attempting to try new CBD products or increasing your current dosage. Some may want to switch their current treatment with CBD. Although we completely love CBD and I've heard many cases of this, all things considered, we strongly recommend against substituting any current drugs or recommended treatments with CBD, except if it's with the recommendation of a clinical expert. Well everyone, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're looking for CBD oil, broad spectrum that is. On our website, we sell CBD balm, oil and capsules. Expect more videos to come talking about CBD oil, how you should take it and much more. To stay up to date, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We'll see you next time.